Let's talk Kamal Nanjiani, who absolutely smashed this transformation. The biggest problem is once you get there, you don't stop exercising. Right. I wish it was like a video game where you could just like hit save and then like, <laughs> all right, now I look like this <laughs> every day. You see this guy, this guy right here has it all. Rich, famous, funny. And if, if you're thinking, well, at least he's not ripped. Well, he is now. So they asked me to play a superhero. My first thought was, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Second thought was, I have to now get in shape. Then I got a part in a Marvel movie called Eternals where I get to play a superhero. I wanted to gain a lot of muscle and I wanted to look like someone who could believably hang with Thor or Captain America. So I knew that I had to really, really transform my body. I mean, those transformation pictures, we all saw them, they blew up on socials. So I was like, I want to take a picture just so I have it. Uh -huh. And then as soon as I saw the picture, I was like, the world must see this. <laughs> Even his own family were in awe of the transformation. My brother said, Dad has already sent your naked pics to both family WhatsApp groups. And that's a group I don't want to be in. Weird to have your aunt sending you naked pictures of yourself. Yes, it is. And now she's blocked. Although, looking like this does have its downsides. I am slightly less interesting because I do talk about working out a lot. And I'm slightly less funny. I definitely became like 30% less interesting, but I think it's a fair trade. This transformation is epic. He looked like this, and then at that point, Marvel called. They got the checkbook out, and he pulled off one of the greatest superhero transformations we've seen for the Eternals. You know, people are still talking about this transformation, and the movie's not even out yet. And when I say people, I, I mainly mean, <laughs> mean him. He's talking about it a lot. I've been talking about it it's incessantly for a year. That is true. And the way you look almost makes up for how much you talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> three words, just three words, and you know what they are. Movie star genetics. Movie star genetics every time. I've been terrified for a year that I'm going to sneeze and like lose it. So look, before we talk the workout, it's all about the warm up. We're talking lightweights, resistance bands and foam rolling. I also feel since I've been working out like this is the most calm I've been. I've been sleeping better. I feel less anxious. I have way more energy. So the motivation is just health. I just feel healthier than I have in, in 20 years. So let's talk about the workout for Eternals. When it came to that workout, Grant Roberts was Kamal's go-to guy. He's jacked and gets people jacked. It's a key about being very intense for that first hour, an hour and 15 minutes. We would probably train somewhere between four and five days a week. It was a high protein diet, also a high fat, healthy fat diet. And of course you needed the carbs for the energy to get through the workout. So the chat about Kamal Nanjiani's gains continue. Like how much did he weigh before? What body fat percentage was he? How much muscle did he gain? No one really knows, but we do know what he weighed for his photo shoot because he said it himself. Check this, when he was hanging out with Dak Shepard and Rob McElhenney. You yeah. know, we peaked at the same way. Okay, what was that We're weight? the exact same size. Uh, 150, can we say it? Yeah, 152 was... Can we say it? <laughs> the <laughs> secrets of the trade. Well, we were both 152. I just did a stand-up show two nights ago. Uh -huh. And as I got off stage, this guy was like, uh, what do you weigh? And I was like, I, less than you think. And then he came up to me 20 minutes later and he's like, what's your walking weight? I don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> he was just, like, well, 180? And I was like... No, it's like, I'm like 155 now, but 152 was, we, we looked way bigger than we really see, were. See, that's, that's, that's the, that's it's the, the thing. huge secret. All these people you see in Marvel movies that you love, they're, they're all lean. And that I think is the hardest part, at least for me, getting that lean. Yeah, it didn't happen overnight. Checking out his workout, his go-to moves were power play activation. What? This is actually multiplying Kumail's weight because of the vibration pattern it actually creates a G-force. And right now his, Quads are contracting and relaxing 1,500 times in this 30-second interval. Feel each one. Half an hour of that and you're ready to hit the Marvel set. <laughs> Can you imagine? Zercher squats, low cable scoops, front, lat, and rear delt combo, biceps with electric stimulation. Just gonna skip that one. When it comes up with a disclaimer, yeah, it's not making it in the workout. Tricep dips, classic, and cable rows. These muscles are decorative. They don't do anything. <laughs> they really don't. Emily will be like, can you open this jar for me? I'm like, probably not. Talking about Kamal's diet, he said, well, this kind of makes sense now because Kamal likes his cakes, put it, put it that way. He said, basically, it's five days a week, low carb, and then over the weekend, you can eat as much as you want. His personal trainer, Grant Roberts, puts a higher emphasis on protein and dietary fats for his clients' macronutrients to build muscle and lose fat. 
hardest thing about this is the food. And if you're looking to gain lean mass, if you're looking to get bigger, stronger, faster on all of those aspects, you are going to get tired of eating because the foods we eat aren't the foods you want to eat, they're the foods you have to eat. And, and they're, they're, they're very, you know, you get satiety very easy. You feel full all the time. So it, it's the most challenging aspect. Grant Roberts said the ultimate diet will consist of 55% fat, 35% protein, and 10% carbohydrates. Saying the problem is that most people have this model backwards, eating nearly 65% carbohydrates, 25% fat, and 10% proteins. This is what's making them gain unwanted body fat. But nutrition is generally 70% of the success. We're only spending an hour at a time in here. The other 23 hours of the day is what really matters. When Grant was talking about Kamal's diet, he said it involved great nutrition, emphasis protein, water and healthy fats like omega-3s and just enough carbs without spilling over. I've had no refined sugar in a year. I've had almost no carbs at all. His go-to foods are going to be eggs, salmon, mackerel fillets, avocados, peanut butter, cheese ones high in monounsaturated fats, nuts like macadamia nuts and Brazil nuts and coconut oil. The diet is the hardest thing. I have not had pizza or a donut in over a year. And yes, he's on the juice. The beetroot juice. I drink a lot of beet juice and I use beet juice as a pre-workout. I like the taste of it and I think it gives me energy for the workout. And the bottom line is Kamal looks like this 24 seven, which means he gets a little bit excited when cheat day rolls around. What? Ah! <laughs> Are you serious? This is good stuff too. This Are you is not joking? No, this is oh my god! It's all for you. This is for me. And he really earned that cake. It's... You don't understand. Oh. <laughs> I'm, lit I'm like shaking. The sugar rush hits so hard. This is because he does the whole bulk and cut thing. I would eat like French fries at midnight and then go to bed. I don't think that's what they mean by you know doing a clean bulk. And I looked and I felt terrible. But you know when it was like time to cut it, I was like, yeah, that feels right. I feel like I've done harm here. But now it's been many months and I feel like I could do it again. I did a bulk, basically ate a lot of protein, but also whatever I wanted. French fries, I ate ice cream for like four months and now I'm cutting. So now I'm on the crazy diet. No sugar, I love desserts, but I've been eating whatever I want for four months. This actually doesn't feel that hard. It feels like, oh, thank God. So at like 11, 11.30 PM, I would eat a full meal and go to bed. At its most, I had put on 30 pounds. So you know when Kamal posted his transformation pictures and just crashed socials, he did say I would not have been able to do this if I didn't have a full year with the best trainers and nutritionists paid for by the biggest studio in the world. I put that picture out and it went everywhere and I was like, oh, now I have to try to look like this for the rest of my life. So what's your thoughts on this transformation? Get busy in the comments below. Listen, you know you've reached legendary fitness levels when The Rock wants to work out with you. The Rock. Dwayne, Dwayne The Rock Johnson sort of reached out and uh, was very complimentary. I would love someday to work out with him. I think that would be really fun to do. Listen, if you want to get ripped like a Hollywood movie star, but you don't have the Marvel budget, link in the description. Check out my program. It's ready to download now.